Pretty Alone, crazy. In daylight, surrounded by the beauty of the Pacific Northwest landscape, it was hard not to let doubt creep in one last time. I could still chalk everything up to a dream, a delusion. I had enough imagination to make up something like this, having been in the cabin all this time, trapped in a story inside my head, gone mad from grief over Alice's death like Hartman had claimed. There would be no way of knowing. I told myself it didn't really matter. My course was set. His course was set. Huh. Yeah, I wanted to shoot this six pack that's on the but it won't let me pull out my gun, even though I got bullets. So I guess we're gonna hop into this Jeep. I don't know, it looks like it could be a Jeep. Jeep Wagoneer, Toyota Forerunner maybe. We'll drive in a second. Gotta take a look around here real quick. Mmm. Nothing. Okay, no manuscripts hiding about. Let's drive. Crazy. Gotta keep an eye out for a thermos on the side of the road or a manuscript. See what we got going on here. Nothing. Oh, we got some stuff. What does this say? Uh, the majestic motel, comfortable beds, clean rooms, wireless internet, laundry facilities, cable TV, kitchenette, and blah blah blah. What a actual phone number? I wonder if that's. A real damn phone number. Triple five eight nine two three. Hmm. What do we got going on all down here? All right, let's get going. That's weird. Just some batteries sitting on the table there. That's crazy. I mean, it would be hilarious if you could drive uh, the Jeep down there to that farm. Got another truck. Gotta check it out. Let's go see. I know, man, I'm just <laughs> definitely not trying to milk this game or anything, but why is all this stuff here? You know what I'm saying? Oh, you can drive that truck. I mean, this stuff here, you gotta take a look. Holy crap, look at this. Jeez Louise. Could have easily just drove right past this stuff. And... I think you can drive the truck down here. I'm just gonna go down here and take a look. This is weird AF, dude. I mean, I think you could have just blazed straight to. Oh man, we got a cache. Yeah, we could have stayed on the road and just blazed straight through to, uh... Right Falls, downtown. I'm guessing. It's loaded. Alright, we're good there. That is so weird, you would have to stop on the side of the road there and, uh... thought that was a thermos for a second. 
and pick up this loot. Mm, wonder if the sun's going down. Because being out here at night is probably not a good call. I'm telling you, them boomer legs, bro. Let's just walk it out there, Alan. Let's walk it out, bro. Let's walk it out. See, like, what's all this? Oh, damn, thermos. Damn, we got a thermos. This is insane. Like this is all closed off. No doors. All right. a link between us always would be i could feel its presence again getting closer what the hell dude let's get out in the sunlight I'm oh and suddenly it's dark reloading thing dude and it suddenly just gets dark they're going to make me work for it all the way back the dark presence was no longer trying to capture the writer so he could create the ending it wanted the writer knew too much he was too strong and he carried a weapon left behind by Thomas Zane, something that could hurt it. Now, the darkness was doing everything in its power to simply stop the rider from ever reaching Cauldron Lake and the dark place it came from. Damn. Looks like we've got another car up here. Can we drive this? We can't. Looks like we have to pit stop and, you know, pick up loot along the way. I don't see anything in that one. Lots of vehicles on the side of the road, though. Oh, no, no, no. See you guys. I did all that is because we got a field here and I wanted to see
see if there is some loot to pick up around here. I don't know. Let's, I think maybe just go to this majestic. Oh, dang. Top out here. It looks like a ramp right there that you can jump off of. pick this up and go inside we'll examine that in a second oh thermos or the wind hell yeah brother Got eight. Um, damn, don't know if I want to switch over to that. I said double barrel shotgun. Nah, no, 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 no. Take a pass on that. Based on the signature in the motel register, Agent Nightingale had stayed here in room number two. Room number two. Number two. Oh, there's a light down there. What? Let's go scope out these other rooms, but I'm going to go along the back side. Oh, I hear breathing. Does that then check out if things get cray cray? Yeah, he can jump over this. And then drive down to there. Look like got another battle going on down there. Let's check these rooms. Yeah, I heard some breathing. I think one of these rooms has some loot in it. Number four. Number two. Okay. Oh, and there's bullet holes in the windshield of that one. I definitely heard some heavy breathing. Let's go back here. It was at the back of the hotel. I don't see any loot in there. I guess maybe I was just hearing things. Over here and scope this out. And drive that one. I guess we can run over and just hop into that one. Damn, no secret loot hiding around here. Jabated. I don't know what the stack of cans are for. Why then we keep seeing these? Okay, I guess. Arnie. Number two it is. Wow. Barry. Sarah. FBI jacket. Some more flashbangs. It's going to get ugly out there. Wonder if the Agent Nightingale pulled to Elvis Presley. This had obviously been the room where Agent Nightingale had stayed when he hadn't been busy harassing me. Hey. Look after yourself, Major Workers. Could have fooled me, pal. Hmm, two? Where'd your compadre go?
would have fooled me, pal. Really weird. Nothing on the door. All right. I think we'll run up and go snag this um, gold car. Nothing on the back of this truck. We're out of here. That was old timey. Those headlights are much brighter than the car that we we're in. It's like I still hear breathing, man, but we're gonna have to take a pass on it and just deal. Yep, and just deal. Hmm. Let's just get going. Up car, let's go. Oh, this thing gets stuck. Do we have to drive around? Cause that bridge is blocked. Unless we gotta walk. Maybe we gotta walk. That bridge looks like a hot mess. Let's go over and check this out real quick. Oh, damn. I think I just ruined my car. <laughs> let's get going, man. Let's, let's just go. I wasn't expecting all that. There we go. Let's go ahead and hop out. Let's get going. I'm sure we have to actually book it through here. Kind of on the wrong side. There's a light right there. Let's get over here by the light. All right. Got some loot here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, 
What in the hell, man? Not exactly sure what the hell, bro. Oh, uh, you knew this tractor was going to be doing some weird shit. Fresh car just sitting here waiting for us. That's crazy. Insane. Oh, screw this dude. We're out of here. I'm drive through. Kid me. Ah, oh, we're going, getting into the light. Wow, 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 wow. Gotta go that way. Dude is crazy. All right, let's hop into our truck. If we can get it out of here. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We're back on the road. All right, screw you guys, man. Gotta go. Patrolling it. Nope, nope, you can get through. Oh, this truck is wrecked. Guess he's foot patrolling it from here. Nope, can't drive that.
Got splotches of darkness on the road. to go. Yep, we'll go back and pick all that stuff up later. Oh, get the hell out of that. The bottom of Cauldron Lake was a graveyard of things the lake had claimed in one way or another over the decades. The dark presence brought them up in its wake, scattering the rotten waterlogged hull of an old boat here, the remains of a long ago crashed airplane there, trees shattered under the impacts. The earth groaned. It didn't even notice. Nam, nam, nam. Gotta go after the sparkly bits. Oh, them dudes are all back there. Holy crap, dude. No, 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 no. We gotta go. We gotta go. Yep, too many. Just wanna get pwned. Straight up wrecked. Gotta go. Damn, do we really? We got, I guess we gotta go up here, bro. situation. 